This movie is presented by System Vlog Academy and please do subscribe to our channel to watch more System Vlog design, verification and UVM videos. Basic UVM classes. As you have already seen, UVM is a class library. So in this session, you will be learning the bare minimal set of classes that is needed to start with developing a UVM test bench. There are two categories of classes in UVM, which is UVM component classes and UVM data classes. So these are the essential component classes needed in any test bench. These are driver, sequencer, monitor, agent, environment and tests. And these are the essential data classes that is required in any test bench, which is a transaction class and a sequence class. Thus, when you are writing a UVM based test bench, all that you have to do is to write all these classes, your own classes, which is extending from all these corresponding base classes. So, in simple words, you need to write a driver, your own driver class, which is extending from the UVM driver, and you need to write a environment class, which is extending from the UVM environment class, and so on. Before explaining all of them in detail, let's have a quick look at the UVM class hierarchy. So this is a simplified UVM class hierarchy. The most basic class in UVM is named as UVM object. It is not 100% true. The, 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 the very basic class in UVM is called UVM root. You can ignore that and you can consider that UVM underscore object is the, the base class for all other classes in UVM. And remember that this is not an object, this is a class definition itself. UVM underscore object is a class definition itself. These are the data classes and these are the component classes. And also note that apart from these most generalized data classes and component classes, there are a lot of other set of classes available in UVM which is not needed to uh, learn as a beginner. So as a beginner, this is a bare minimal set of UVM which you need to master. This is component class hierarchy. A class named UVM underscore report underscore object is derived from the UVM object and the UVM underscore component class is derived again from the UVM report object class. So this is not commonly used and UVM underscore component is the base class for all the UVM component classes that I have listed here like driver, sequencer and monitor. So the name of the UVM defined classes are like UVM underscore test, UVM underscore ENV, UVM underscore agent, UVM underscore sequencer, UVM underscore driver and UVM underscore monitor. And all these classes are derived from the UVM underscore component class. When you develop your own UVM based test bench, you need to write your own UVM test which is extending from the UVM underscore test and you need to write your own UVM environment which is extending from the UVM underscore ENV class and so on. And in the data side, these are the data classes. The first, from the UVM object class, a UVM underscore transaction class is derived and from this UVM underscore transaction class, a UVM underscore sequence underscore item class is derived and from this class the uvm underscore sequence is derived there is one point you should note here so th these are the essential uh, uvm data classes that you need to write in your test bench like the transaction and sequence class and remember that the uvm uh, in your test bench you will be writing your own transactions which is extending from the sequence item class not from the transaction class or in other words the, the uvm underscore transaction class will not be used uh, to extend other transactions but to write your own transaction you will be extending those transactions from the uvm sequence item class and the uh, your own sequences will be extending from the uvm sequence class as in the case of other test and environment classes etc this is a simplified class hierarchy diagram in uvm and what you need to learn is to write your own test environment agent sequencer driver monitor transaction and sequence classes which are extending from these corresponding classes a generic uvm based test bench 
This is a generalized UV embedded stress bench diagram. In the previous session, you have learned that you need to write your own test, environment, agent, and some other classes in order to write your complete UV embedded stress bench. And this diagram shows how will you place all of these components into your test bench. So if you see closely, this is your design under test or DUT. This is your UV embedded test class. So you will be instantiating all of your UVM based components within a UVM based test class. And you, finally, you will instantiate your UVM test class and the DUT in the top this test bench module or the top module. So, so this, even though this is written as a UVM test bench, this is uh, a general uh, system like module which is instantiating both this DUT and the final UVM test class. Now we will see what, what all are the components in the test class. Within your own UVM based test class, you will have your own UVM based environment class. So remember that this UVM test is your own UVM test which is extending from the UVM underscore test class. And this UVM environment will be your own ENV which is extending from the UVM underscore ENV class and so on. And the test class will contain and the ENV class and within the environment there will be multiple agents. There could be one or more agents. And this is the UVM based agent class and also it is not shown here. Uh, in, in a UVM agent there will be three kind of categories of classes which is the driver class, the monitor class and the sequencer class. So the sequencer, driver and monitor all together will be instantiated within an agent class and multiple agents could be instantiated within an environment class and multiple environment classes could be instantiated within a test class and there will be only final single test class which is running at a, uh, in a particular simulation and thus that is a final uh, UVM based test class which is instantiating in the top level module along with the DUT. If you have noticed here the sequence classes will be running within from the test class you can ignore the configuration uh, fa or factory classes for, for the time being but note that the sequences will also be starting from the test class and the sequence class will again consist of multiple transactions classes and there could be multiple sequences running from the uh, same test class another thing that i wanted you to notice here is that the DUT is directly interacting only with an agent in a UVM based test bench. To be more specific, the DUT will be interacting only with a driver and monitor class within an agent in a, in a UVM based test bench. None of the other classes like the test, environment, even the agent class, the sequence, any transactions or even the sequencer will not have any direct interactions with the design under test or the DUT. Only the driver class and the monitor class which are sitting within the agent class will be interacting with the DUT in a UV based test bench. Here is a quick summary of a generic UV based test bench. Your test class will en encapsulate all other your own derived UVM based classes which are like the environment and sequence classes and the environment will be consisting of one or more UVM agents which again are consist of uh, driver, sequencer and monitor classes and along with your DUT or design under test module you will be instantiating your UVM based test class within the top level module which is a system well log specific module this is presented by system well log academy and if you like the video please do subscribe our channel for more system well log design verification and uvm videos also don't forget to take a look at the different playlists that we have created in our channel which will teach a set of selected topics in system well log thank you for watching